Uh, my name is Roz Laporte. Really. I don't like your attitude. I really don't. And here you are disturbing the church. I'm having a stroke again. Oh, God. Here we go again. Your stream is freezing. Your face is freezing. I don't like your attitude. Okay? I don't like your attitude. Your stream is freezing. Your face is freezing. I don't like your face. And I can upgrade. <laughs> you know what? I just got my husband. I just got my husband, and he gave me a tiny little diamond ring. It was a cubic zirconia, but I didn't know any better. <laughs> he actually got it from a Cracker Jack box. Remember Cracker Jacks? That's what he did. He got me a tiny little ring. I upgraded. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. See? That guy agrees. He's honking his horn because he agrees. <laughs> Let's go to the beach where I can get in the water. And then I'll look like one of the other whales. <laughs> you can't upgrade with all your wrinkles, all your crow's feet, buddy. How dare you try to motivate your people? You're a little crony. Here's my goiter. My triple quadruple chance. Quintuple chance. Get it straight, buddy. <laughs> you think you're so funny with your little opinions. You're going to go on and on. See, I already know what you're going to do. You're going to go on and on, making fun of Fat Girl. Then you're going to talk about your little topics. And then your little legionnaires. Your little legionnaires. You know what they're going to do? They're going to hit the like button. And they're going to make some little comments about how American women are this and that. And then I'm going to report you. <laughs> My stroke is kicking in again. Oh crap. Walking around with my sweatpants on, smell like cheese. I lift up the rolls to go to the bathroom. The normies like to laugh at me because I like to stick the rolls out. It's hilarious. It's pretty funny. Let, let's harass some people. <laughs> Here's an Indian, a nice Indian couple. Let's see if we can scare them a little bit. Mm -hmm. As we go to the beach, and then your stream drops. And then everybody laughs and giggles. Everybody thinks I'm hilarious. See, the, the Indian couple looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't going to stream today, but Legionnaires unite. You see how, you see that big ass arm? You see that? You see that big ass arm? You see where we're coming from? You see how, why do I always start shouting? I gotta, I gotta calm down. I shout so loud that I blow out the freaking mic. It's cause I got energy guys. I was gonna do a stream today, but then I said, you know what? I went nuts. Because I was getting all these topics. Donkey punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Become a legionnaire forever. Hit the notification bell. Become a dating coach. Daniel. Subscriber. And I will tell you how to get the guy. As I slip into my Australian exit. Because I'm not really British. <laughs> And then I go into a cockney exit because it's the, the closest thing to Australian that I can do without fooling you. Plebes. Imbeciles. Ooh, Crumble's Patisserie. Guys, Crumble's Patisserie. Check it out. Crumble's Patisserie. Let's get, uh, let's get some of those, uh, let's get some of the uh, bread going. All right, let's get some of the, all right. Yeah, today's going to be a good one, gentlemen, because I was looking up all these topics that the <laughs> some of the most commonly searched YouTube topics would make you piss your pants. It's effing hysterically funny. It is sad and funny, and it's also a little more sad than funny because... 
Oh, we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> just gonna have fun with it today. <laughs> oh my god, this is guys. This is gonna be. <laughs> I already know. Look, look, look. I'm gonna take a big jump. Aya! I'm just kidding. It wasn't. Well, it was a little bit of a big jump, but not really a big jump. Mainly because I've been working out a lot lately. My testosterone's up. I feel great. Yeah, guys. Let I. Every time I lift, it's legs legs and upper body there's always something to do with legs because as you get older guys your testosterone naturally decreases but you can keep it pretty high you can keep yourself in relatively good condition. and guys i'm not talking about killing yourself in the gym but it is good to keep your health up okay i was a trainer for 14 years a little more than 14 years and it does help and so anyway i was at the gym and I was doing some serious, I was moving some serious weight and I was very proud of myself. I was like, dang, dude, I'm 44 and I'm still pretty freaking strong. And a bunch of other core stuff, staying injury free. And I started looking up all these YouTube topics. Guys, they border on the hilarious to the absolutely hysterically funny. And <laughs> you guys are going to see a bunch of shorts coming that are probably going to make you piss your pants or you're going to be confused or a little of both because some of them revolve around the little lady's questions. <laughs> I couldn't, guys, I couldn't help myself. That's almost, <laughs> it's almost like I'm trolling them. I just couldn't help. I had to do it. <laughs> so what I did was, uh, you guys will be seeing in the next few days, some pretty funny ass topics. So be prepared uh, that you might, <laughs> you might just die. You might <laughs> I think one of them was seven, seven ways to be more feminine. <laughs> okay, guys, come on, man. Let the little A... <laughs> come on. The little AWs are trying. They're <laughs> so I made a separate playlist for our Legionnaire ladies, okay? I know I'm laughing at them. It's, guys, it's hard not to laugh. Because this, this stuff is effing hysterically funny. Mainly because, <laughs> mainly because we've been telling the little ladies what to do for 60 some odd years. And they effing funny. Guys, they're moonwalking to get these bills paid. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. What are you doing, old man? Move, 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 come on. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you guys want to know? You want to <laughs> You want to know some of the hysterically funny? Let's go, Jake Judy in the house. He's getting on it. He's one of our very orthodox, religious, time-stamped gentlemen. He is the man of the hour. He is making it happen. There's a lot of... Okay, you want to hear some? Here's some of the funny... <laughs> oh, man, I'm good, man. Okay, here's some of the funniest... Okay, let me get some just for you. For you legionnaires who are early, you're going to die. Or maybe you won't laugh, I don't know. But this is... <laughs> this, uh, seven ways to be more feminine. How to become a millionaire woman. <laughs> Guys, these are the top ranked searches on YouTube. Yes, you heard me. These are some of the top ranked... Ryan. Searches. Okay. <laughs> How to be a more feminine. <laughs> I'm sorry. To my AWs, I'm sorry. To my. <laughs> sorry. Holy. Oh. Restore feminine energy. I'm not making this up, guys. Feminine men's fashion. I'm not making this up. These are top ranked searches. Women empowerment in sociology. This is the type of stuff that's being said. These are the questions. <laughs> These are the questions. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, here's some more. Dating a lawyer woman. I'm not making top, top. Yes, guys. Barely keep a straight face. <sighs> Sorry about that stream like. These are some of the hilarious, hilarious topics that are coming your way within the next few days. So be prepared. 
hit that like button. Don't die of, of just keeling over and laughing, but there are going to be some hysterically funny topics. Be ready. Oh, yes. Shorts, the whole nine yards. Because, gentlemen, it's time to address some of these things and to just go for the jugular. And one of the biggest things that the ladies do not understand, unfortunately, in the West, I wasn't even going to do a stream today, but the reoccurring theme from all these searches is they just don't understand guys at all. They really don't understand anything that we're doing. They don't understand who we are. They want to be us, yet they don't understand us. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that bizarre? Isn't that strange? It's very confusing. and it just kills them it drives them an upgrade forever in life and they can't they cannot do this in fact they have to downgrade forever they have to take the scraps the leftovers they need to comply otherwise they just get they just get looked past and this is so <laughs> this is so amazing in the West, they learn way too late, and of course, they're at a massive disadvantage. It's not very bright out today, guys, but let's just get to it anyway, just for fun. And to my Legionnaire ladies, I'll be addressing these topics in the next few days. And I'm going to try to keep a straight face, but it's going to be relatively difficult, only because it's just so effing funny that all the things we talked about over all these decades and we thought, you know, you tried to make, we were gaslit like crazy. We were insulted like crazy and all of these, uh oh, oh no. There's intention thoughts, okay. Let's see if we can get around attention thoughting. All of these things came to fruition. And unfortunately, to the generation of ladies who didn't even, who never had a chance, I'm sorry, but that isn't our problem. And that's not our fault. Unfortunately, you can thank your mothers for this. You can thank all the simps for this. All the guys who had, didn't have a spine or a backbone. And yes, if you notice, my shoulders are very broad for a reason. Because I'm used to carrying heavy weight, a heavy load. And that's what I want you guys to know. I don't care if you're a skinny, scrawny little dude. If you've got a backbone, if you've got a backbone, then you're okay. If you've got a little bit of testosterone in your net sack, you are going to be able to upgrade forever. You are going to be able to upgrade at life, upgrade at career, upgrade at everything. You guys have no idea how much power you really have. You want motivation? You want to be motivated? You just look down in between your legs. Guys, I don't even care if you've got a micro penis. If you've got a tiny, it's irrelevant. None of those things matter. As much as you're shamed or ridiculed for your shortcoming and that's cool they're gonna try to you know roast me all the mistakes i have made world you better be prepared for a world of hurt holy mackerel um yeah it's gonna be funny men's daily daily advice and live during an nfl kansas city chiefs game SMH, it's cool. Sorry, man, but I had to do it. Mainly because, and I hate to say this too as well, the NFL's woke. You know what I mean? They've got woke as well. And it's one of the reasons why I don't really watch. It's one of the main reasons I don't watch sports. Sorry for the buffering. I see the buffering, guys. And it just sucks because it ruins everything. It really does. But that's okay. All right. Thank you for the buffering acknowledgement. I'm going around. Sometimes these streams are going to be a little rough. But yeah, that's one of the main reasons I don't watch even sports anymore, guys. The wokeness has gotten way, 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 way worse. And it's going to get... A, <laughs> you think it's bad now? The pandering is going to get worse. And it's not that I don't like sports or anything like that, but oof. <sighs> mm -hmm. Wokeness. Wokeness is in 
it, it's pretty much everywhere. There's nothing you can do about it, but it is what it is. So, uh, Jake Judy, I'm listening in while working out wearing my Passport Bros God Bless shirt at the gym. Man, Jake Judy, you're the freaking man. You guys are awesome. Look at you. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. And by the way, I got my workout in yesterday. And I, guys, I went so hard. To those of you guys who aren't getting fit, you guys get... I know I don't get into fitness enough. Because, guys, I got sick of it because I was a trainer for so many years. You get sick of it. And I needed a break. You really do, guys. Hearing people crying about, you know, the pain and the, the soreness. And I don't want to do it. And there's not enough gains and all this. But when you do go overseas, the experiences that you have in the West are going to go bye-bye. Gentlemen, you're not going to be riding everywhere or uh, driving everywhere. You're going to be walking everywhere. You're going to be riding bikes everywhere. Stream today is not as smooth, is it? Okay, it's, it's coming back. It's a little slow. I, want, I need to let you guys know that it's going to be best for you to get back in the gym. I know it's woke in there. You, well, you're going to have attention thoughts in there. It's going to happen. But it's best to get your basic fitness down. A lot of guys don't want to do this. But a lot of guys do. And it's going to get your testosterone up. And you're going to start feeling like a million bucks. Because gentlemen, everywhere we go, our testosterone is bombarded with estrogen. Everywhere we go, we are told we're not enough. Gentlemen, I need you to get in those squats. I need you to get in those deadlifts. I need you to get in those lunges. I need you to get in those movements, full body range of motion. I need you to get those knees moving, those hips moving. You want to know why? Because overseas, you are going to be moving a lot more. And by the way, you're going to be accepted with higher testosterone levels. When you upgrade, when you leave the West, which you will, as it gets more and more woke, you're going to notice that your higher testosterone levels are going to be very welcome overseas. You're yelling, you're shouting, you're getting in tits. <laughs> it's going to be very welcome. And gentlemen, when I was at the gym yesterday, I was grunting a lot and there were no attacks. I just got focused. Just get the hell out of my way. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it here, but guess what? We can get to where we need to be. That means it's going to be leg day every day. It's going to be arm day every day. Now, guys, you may think I lift every day. I don't. Two, three days a week, approximately. Every other day, every two days. I'm dead certain, and, and we all have different, different levels of fitness. And I built up to a certain level. You have to build up. What am I getting at? You got to take basic care of your body. If you are extremely obese or overweight as a guy, you're going to have to put in a little bit of work and do this for yourself. Most guys say do it for women and you need to get Jack. No, guys, do it for yourself. Because once you get fat, it is very hard to lose it as you get older. That is correct. If you guys notice, if you watch my first video, much puffier face, much fatter. And I'm not making this a fitness video. Not at all, guys. What I'm getting at is get your basic fitness. What is up with my... Ah, let's get it. Men's daily advice. Question, why is it that... The local guys overseas are highly helpful to show us around to their local women in Brazil, Uganda, Thailand, and Greece. But the Matrix Women and Christian Bros disagree because, Mr. Men's Daily Advice, they want you to never upgrade. It is actually part of our topic today. Nobody in the West wants you to upgrade except other gentlemen who are on the same path and understand that we can upgrade forever and understand that we have unlimited options that is why. Why would they want you to leave, man? Hmm? How does that benefit them? It doesn't. It hurts them. Gentlemen, when you leave, when you get your 
game to where it needs to be. Not game, but your actual life together. When you are in shape, when your mind is strong, you can defeat any of these idiots. Period. It's more of a dude fest where I'm at good because it's going to keep your testosterone up. Jake, Judy, chest raises with the barbell are killer. Yes, now hit those legs too. Dirty Harry from Christian Bros wants you to pick off the Whopper menu. Correct. Correct, Jake, Judy. It's time to get mobile, gentlemen. It is time to win. Men can upgrade forever. Period. End of story. <laughs> Guys, I did a deadlift yesterday and I couldn't believe. I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm almost as strong as I was when I was in my 20s. I think I can break my record. The point being, it's all up in up here. We're going to get into it today. Men can upgrade forever. We can upgrade our lifestyle, our living situation, our friends everything it's just incredible when you really break it down we have the world by the balls and yet everywhere you are told in the west that you can't do this well of course they're going to tell you that because it's a bunch of simps simps want you to lose gentlemen raise your freaking standards for too long we've been told that we need to keep our standards in the gutter. That you need to accept obesity. That you need to accept less than. That you need to be weak. That you need to bend over backwards for people who do not care about you and who actually despise you. Every day you're despised in a place that doesn't like you. And we're supposed to accept this. We're supposed to accept mediocrity. No, we're raising our standards. They're going through the roof. Gentlemen, do you understand? I hold myself to a higher standard than I ever have in my entire If you notice, even my posture is straighter. I hold myself to a much higher standard because I know you guys need it too. We all need it. I'm tired of living for less. I was laughing so hard I could finish the last couple of reps. Good. Because laughter, gentlemen, do you know laughter burns calories? Do you know that laughter kicks up your adrenaline to a certain extent? Your testosterone? I hope you're laughing because these MFers are coming to get it. They're getting it. Keep your power up. Keep your mind sharp. Gentlemen, i let you in on a little secret. I've spent countless dollars on failure. I've spent countless hours on failure. You want to know why? Because I want to win that badly. Because I want you guys to win. Because I want all of us to win and move up. And by the way, not all of us are going to. The vast majority of casual watchers are not going to make an effing dent on anything. They're not putting up even one plate. And by the way, I don't care how strong you are. It's cool. It, it's irrelevant. <laughs> don't, get, don't get into a pissing contest, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm getting at is being the best for yourself. And nobody wants a piece of that. Nobody wants a piece of that. Because when men mobilize and move... Guys, don't, haven't you ever noticed I'm always moving? There's a reason for that. It's because I want to win more than anyone you will ever meet in your entire life. Ever. And I want you to take that energy. I want you to take that energy and push it to the ground. Heels down. Put up that freaking weight. I want you to... I want you to crap lightning and urinate thunder. I hate to rip off Rocky movie, but you know. <sighs> Who cares what all the losers are doing if you're focused on winning? In fact, to all you guys out there that are focused on losers, guess what? Losers focus on winners. 
Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. That's what they do. They sniff you. And you focus on winning. Every second of every day, a loser gets out of my way. I know I have less competition. Did you know that? Every time a loser gives up and has a girlfriend who berates him and kicks him, kicks the crap out of him and he's got his head down, is another person I don't have to compete with. Your competition, gentlemen, is just yourself. And pretty much, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> who are you competing against? <laughs> and that's why I had to do a stream today. I couldn't help it. I felt, I felt, gosh, I felt the, the fire through my veins. <clears throat> I felt the fire through my veins. And it has nothing to do with it. any supplementation that I'm taking or any of that type of crap because I'm really not. Today is my last day of caffeine. And that's it, gentlemen. That's pretty much it. It has to do with the internal motivation. And it comes from failing for so many years. It comes from dropping anchor. It comes from betraying my standards. I told a couple stories recently about betraying my standards, gentlemen. Giving up on my standards. About giving in and how much it takes out of you. How much it destroys your movement, your action, action therapy. And you know what? It feels good to let everybody that you know, your standards, it feels good to keep them out of your way, to, to, to kick them out of your way. All the people that ever, the hell, this guy boxed this guy in somehow. That is freaking weird. I wonder why he did that. It feels good to announce your standards and be unapologetic about those standards. Because your motivation comes from your sacrifice and it comes from your failures. I bet you didn't know that, now did you? Bunch of jabronis out here, correct. Nobody's putting in the work on Sunday. Nobody is getting off their ass. Everybody's complaining. Everybody's whining. Oh, everybody's so mean to me. These women out here are terrible. And what is the solution? The solution is getting off the dating apps. The solution is getting focused on your purpose. The solution is being free from all of the stupidity and all the things that are going to keep you off your game. For those of you who have been around a while, you've noticed how many Kayleys have been in my videos. How many little Kayleys have been bubbling and bouncing around and being silly and giggling and trying to get in. And yet, I have not approached one of them. I have not given one of them my number, my social, nothing. One of them wanted to be a subscriber. I said, sure. That's it. <laughs> You're not, I'm not taking you out. Now, why is that? Because, gentlemen, the mission will not be deterred by a bunch of thoughts. The mission will not be deterred by a bunch of simps. And the mission is to upgrade. Period. End of story. To all the AWs, they're going, ouch. Gentlemen, you may not know this, but those of you who are watching right now, you are going to upgrade. You are going to stay focused. You're not going to be distracted by a bunch of low-hanging fruit. And it's very easy to get distracted. It's very easy to give in. In fact, it's the easiest thing to do. It's the thing that you are going to be told every day of your life. Why do you want to go to the gym, Jake, Judy? Why do you want to sacrifice and watch this stream, Men's Daily Advice? You could just watch the game. You don't need to listen to this dork. 
You don't need to listen to this a-hole. Come back to the plantation. Come lose with us. Hang out with your friends. You know, you know the real turning point in my life, gentlemen, I never told you this, is when I stopped hanging out with losers. I'll never forget I had a buddy after college, and he loved to create chaos and anarchy, and he was a real wild child. And I'll never forget, he's like, man, we were supposed to get a place together, bro. We we're supposed to hang out. We were supposed to go have fun. We were, why do you want to go become a trainer? What do you want to do? He, would, he tried so hard to pull me back to depression and failure. And I'll never forget, I saw him years later, and man, he wasn't doing well. I'll never forget, he, he, he just, man, he was so upset that I wanted to go off and be better. And that's when I really realized in my early 20s that jealous men are dangerous. They will try to tear you down as quickly as possible. Simps. He was a simp and I didn't even know it. He prioritized and pedestalized women. And I didn't even know it. You know what I mean? And yes, he did knock a girl up. He got her pregnant. He had a kid. And now, no offense to anybody who does, but, you know, he worked for essentially... Um, let's just say a government agency that, uh, that is not very high on the status, you know, he never went for his dreams. And I'm glad that I ditched him and got the hell out of there because if I hadn't, I wouldn't be talking to you guys today. Watch some bangles. Yeah, look guys, there's nothing wrong with watching sports. I get it. However, for every Seth... For every sacrifice you make, you're given something greater in return. For every sacrifice that you make, you're given something greater in return. Every time you stop watching TV, every time you shut off all the things that are distracting you, dating apps, dating apps especially, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, any of that type of crap. By, guy, by the way, guys, I do have a Facebook and I only use it for business. I only use it for business. Every time you turn off TikTok, guys, I only use these mediums for business, for topics. That's it. You think I get on there for personal? Hell no. I'm there to sell and that's it. <laughs> Every time you sacrifice this stuff, you sacrifice having girlfriends. Every time you sacrifice having loser guy friends who just want to drink and party all day. Yeah, they love drinking and partying, but when it comes to actually doing what they want to do in life and their purpose, they're nowhere to be found. Yeah, he liked to get into fights and break bottles over guys' head. He was a freaking lunatic. And that was a reflection of who I was at the time. And I got away from all that, gentlemen. Instead of partying, I realized I was wasting my life. I was wasting every second of every day. Just wasting. And I keep seeing these guys that are looking for motivation, looking for motivation. There is no motivation. There's only obsession. Motivation is something you constantly need to replenish. There is no motivation. There's only obsession. There is only Iron sharpens iron, guys. You have to hang around other dudes. Other dudes who are hungry as hell. Other dudes who are ready to come after you. That's the only reason. That is the only way. That's it. You're either going to come, go after the jugular and sacrifice all the things that everybody else is indulging in, or you're just going to you're going to settle down to mediocrity because it is a downward spiral. Guys, when you give in in one area of life, you will give in in others. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Everything is going to start unraveling. <laughs> when you want, you're going to have to sacrifice. When everybody's in your way, you're going to have to tell them to get lost. When people say, hey, how come you don't hang out with it anymore? Well, I've got X, Y, Z to do. The men who complain the most do the least.
period, end of story. They're not men. They're simps. They don't do anything. They take no action. You hear how quiet it is, guys? Because everybody's inside watching. Everybody's inside taking the day off. I saw one of these, this girl that I live by, I could tell she had partied the night before because she was wearing sweatpants and she's wearing her, uh, you know, her little hat, her baseball cap, and she's got her sunglasses on. I could tell that she was <laughs> really hungover. And yet me, I wake up and I'm full of energy. I'm full of life, guys. I popped off 20 shorts today. You know what I mean? Now I'm doing this stream right now. I don't play around, guys. And this is why you guys are going to notice you want to surround yourself with guys that are that hungry, that are so obsessed, that are so vicious and so visceral that they'll sacrifice whatever it takes to make it. They'll do whatever it takes and they won't stop until they get there. And you'll notice, gentlemen, that these guys are going to be who the guys you want to hang out with. The guys who you want to do business with. The guys who make it happen. For example, when I was at the gym yesterday, guys, I never told you this, but when I, I was talking to actually one of the managers at the gym I go to, and of course there were some thoughts around, but good news is I'm just, you know, I'm just going to let them be. But I will comment on it periodically just because to get some views, <laughs> but I'm not going to put him in the video. Anyway, I spoke to him and we're working out some business. We're working out some business at the gym. And I'm like, I like this guy's energy because he's focused. He is determined. He has been determined for a long time. What am I getting at, guys? I wouldn't have ever done business with him in the past. I would have just let that go. I would have been like, let me pay attention to the thoughts over here. Let me try to get their number. Let me waste time. Let me lower my standards. And by the way, to all the dating roaches out there, I've got, I got plenty of smoke for you. You know you drop your standards all the time. You will not hold yourself to the highest standard. Jake Judy says, Eastern European or bust for a reason. Kelsey, touchdown, Kansas City Chiefs, 27 to 13. Chiefs, good. Is it rainy or cloudy? It's just cloudy. And I'm glad your team is doing well. Those football players sacrificed more than anybody could ever know, gentlemen. And that's why they're in the NFL. Not for long, though. That's why they call it the NFL, not for long NFL. Let's go to the next city. It's pretty dead over here. Yeah, the sacrifice. The sacrifice you guys make. The sacrifice you guys make will make your life better. Hit that like button as you file on in. We can upgrade till the day we die. And that's why I want your guys' standards to keep increasing. I want your guys' standards so high that people look at you like you're crazy. I want people to look at you like you're crazy. Your standards are so high. You want to know why, gentlemen? Because Another reason to keep your standards high is because it's going to keep you shooting for the stars and it's going to keep your self-esteem high. See, standards for men are opposite for women. When women have high standards, they're only fooling themselves and deluding themselves because they really can't achieve these. This is what's interesting about the little ladies. They cannot achieve the standards that they set forth in because they are at the mercy of the biology. They're at the mercy of family. They're at the mercy of friends. They're at the mercy of these things. We're not at the mercy or the behest of any of these things, gentlemen. You know how hard it is to be a, a woman and move around and all this stuff? Guys, they have to think about their periods. They have to think about constantly getting attention. That's why it's so easy for us to just get up and go. Just wake up and move. And they have to think about a million other things. Right? Hmm. Dating coach Harry from my church thinks I'm crazy. Exactly. I know, guys, I know it's really, really difficult because literally everywhere you turn, you're going to be told you're nuts. 
I know this. They're going to tell you every second of every day you're a maniac. <laughs> it's unfortunate because it's a hive mindset. The problem is, if you look at where they're all at, they're all in the gutter. And you're not. You guys aren't in the gutter and they are. You know what I mean? Jeez Louise. That was a tiny tyrant. Ugh. She had little girls. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, guys, I know. You're going to be told you're... And by the way, if you're being told you're crazy, you're on the right path. Because it means that you are not going where the normal people are going. Where the normies are going. You're going to be seen as an outcast for a long time, gentlemen, until you move overseas. These are just facts. You are going to be seen as an outcast. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I'm comfortable with this because I grew up that way. I was always told I was crazy. I was always told, oh, man, what, what are you talking about, bro? Doesn't make any sense. But I was always, guys, I always was 10 steps ahead of the game when I was a kid. So for me, it's very normal. And by the way, when you do go to these countries, yes, you will assim assimilate a lot better. You will be welcomed. I know it's challenging. I really do. Because you're so isolated in this country. You're so withdrawn from the normies. And they call you the crazy one. That's the irony. Like, you have the most level head. Oh, no. You guys, are some, uh, okay. Okay, they didn't see me. That's good. As soon as attention uh, thoughts have their heat-seeking missile. <laughs> oh, man, I'm like, I got to get the hell away from these thoughts. Got to avoid them at all costs. Because thoughts are really annoying. Very annoying. My stupid messages. Hold on a sec. There we go. I told you the Matrix Christian bros are off the chain and are slowly growing when it comes to men traveling globally for a better life, better options. They can't stand it. Yeah. It's unfortunate, guys. And I know you need this reinforcement because you need to understand that they're the ones that really have no clue. But it is part... It is part of your journey. I want you guys to know that all this annoyance and all this suffering and all this thoughting and all this stuff is part of your journey. As much as it's annoying, as much as it is irritating, as much as it is you being withdrawn from the masses and from the mainstream, the good news is you are going to fit in very, very well with the mainstream overseas, which is something that most people don't understand is the mainstream overseas is not divided. This is very hard for a lot of people to understand. But when you go overseas, the mainstream is not divided. There is not a fantasy side and then a reality side. There's no... Guys, you understand we're literally going through a quiet civil war over here behind the scenes. Men are from Venus and women are from Mars and all this nonsense. We are in a quiet civil war and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You got the simps, AWs, Christians, unfortunately, on this side. And then you have guys with testosterone on the other side. A lot of you guys may not have never got your T levels checked, but you have more testosterone than you know you do. Because you would not put up with this. At all. Guys, if you had low T, if your T is too low, you're going to give in to a lot of things. You're going to be more passive. You're going to be less aggressive. You are going to be less about staying on your purpose and on your path. It's kind of a catch-22, isn't it? When you are in a relationship, when you are being bossed around by a AW, your testosterone drops. Isn't that intriguing? You can look it up. Jake Judy, Men's Daily Vice, you're absolutely right. I'm Christian, but do not, but not indoctrinated by the fundamental Christian mentality. Yeah. Yeah, guys. 
you see how many different directions you have to go? That's <laughs> unbelievable. Oh my lord. I know guys, I, I know it's frustrating as hell. I know it's irritating. I know it's like every which way you turn, it's somebody trying to take advantage, trying to tear you down, but I promise you, it'll be worth it. And the reason why I know this is because I've been to the other side so many times and been welcomed. Does that make sense? I don't know. Wait, should I go around? I'm just going to go around. This is getting on my nerves. Hold on a second. I promise you'll be able to go around all this nonsense. You'll be free. Okay, okay. I, I, I can't even. I can't do this right now. And by the way, guys, this is why I know, I look, and I know it sounds very antisocial. In some ways it is. But when you do leave, you will be free and you'll be free to pursue your purpose without being accosted, attacked, ridiculed. Guys, you know that when I went to, first time I went to Mexico, I realized the men were very accepting of my ways. They were very friendly. They were not out to lambast me or give me any type of issues. And they understood that I was a hard worker. They looked at me with a different set of pair of eyes than a American guy would who's a simp. Simps are out to get you guys, gentlemen. They are out to hurt you. They are out to tear you down. They cannot wait to see a passport bro or whatever or what we do is call them expats. An expat is an expatriate. It is somebody who goes from one country and moves to another. Gentlemen, when I move my stuff to a new country, I'm going to be an expat. I will not be a passport bro technically. Okay? Because I'm really not coming back. I'll come back to see my family periodically, but I think my brother's going to go too. <laughs> He's had about enough. But what you guys are going to notice, you're going to be welcomed with open arms. It's, a, it's so refreshing. Because what you guys may not know is that the guys overseas have much more structured ways of doing things. They have much more rules. They keep things in order and the ladies comply. The ladies are very strict on each other. In just, I'm just going to use Mexico as an example. I don't know how many of you have been to Mexico. But it's very particular. They have the thoughts, which are three or fours, and they get a payment up front. And then, what is it? Um, I just lost my train of thought. Then they have the good girls who are Christian usually, or Ca I'm sorry, Mexico is I think Catholic or Christian. They've got this complete separation between bad girls and good girls. It's that simple. And what they do is they keep each other in check. The ladies keep each other in check. If you're a bad girl, gentlemen, you're not getting married in Mexico. It's not happening. You could try to check your Westerner. But that's pretty much your only options. You see what I'm saying? Because they go to bars, they go to clubs. They're seen as, they already know, guys, there's no other way. That's it. So then when you meet the good girls, especially the country girls, who are white, blonde hair, bl this is really going to blow you away. You're going to meet a lot of white girls in Mexico. You're going to be scratching your head going, what the hell? Aren't you like, aren't you European or something? And they speak fluent Spanish. It's really bizarre. But anyway, what you're going to notice is these countries are very accepting of guys being strong. And what I mean by strong is having a backbone, having a sense of pride, walking, standing upright and shouting and getting loud and scaring normies like I do. Guys, you know what's funny, guys? You know what's really funny? You guys want to laugh. When I... <laughs> I'm no tough guy. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not uh, somebody who wants to get into fights and all this. But it's really funny because when I do get around simps, guys, they put their head down. 
It's pretty effing funny. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, I'm doing all right. Oh, where are you going, Kaylee? Go. Get back here, Kaylee. Yeah, that's my type of Kaylee right there. You see her, guys? You see her running? That's what I'm talking about. She's, she wasn't bad. She was pretty. But again, guys, not up to my standards. Period. I don't care if they don't like... Oh, you get standard. Yes, I do. So shut up. Anyway. Men's Daily Advice. I think the Christian bros will start selling their own version of dating courses to complete, to compete with the dating coaches. Oh, that's very... Yeah. Agreed. And pick up artists. Since there's a law, low uh, attendance rate of men in churches nowadays. That's correct. Why, did, why is there always a shuffle feet guy? You are 100% correct, Men's Daily Advice. Because church attendance is going to get worse. You want to know why church attendance is going to get worse? Is because the ladies have no rules at the church, number one. And they can't stand that. And number two, the men are leaving the church. Remember, guys, women will only go to places where guys are in the West. Jake Judy, Judy says, Arnold, I won't be back. Hell no. I'm out of here, guys. So, and I can't wait. And by the way, <laughs> it's funny, but I think I already told you guys I'm learning several other languages. And you don't need a ton of the other language to make it. So for you guys who want to go Eastern Europe, I suggest you look at the language that you're going to go ahead and have to know. And just learn even the basics. And after you learn the basics, you are going to have a massive advantage. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. I love it when the simps try to... I love it. Yeah, the, I think uh, another angle that the simps are going to take is, obviously, they are going to cry which they have done already, but they're going to do it even more because what the simps need is they need you here. The simps need you guys here so you can break the American girl's hearts so they have a chance with the American girl. It's kind of a synergistic, sick, little uh, symbiosis. What, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know. Leeching. <laughs> oh, the poor simps. So, yeah. The best part about getting on your purpose and upgrading is that now the world is your oyster. You've spent all your days making all the mistakes, and now you have all the information that everybody else wants. That's the best part about making it far in life. So, for example, if you're a content creator and you're in your 20s, you're some 20-year-old dude, you're not going to have as many topics per se, now are you? What's up, Kaylee? Oh, wait, you have a dog. What a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever got, you guys ever notice Kaylee's don't have babies, they got dogs? It's pretty freaking funny, isn't it? It's hysterically funny. <laughs> Poor little Kaylee's. There's no babies, they got dogs. They're not procreating. <sighs> This is a pretty nice house. Check it out. That's going to be at least a couple million. At least a couple million. Very, very, very low end. In fact, it's probably... Oh, he's got a shower outside. Very cool. I like that. But I do... I, I'm, I'm actually happy that it, kept, that it ended up this way. I'm happy that you guys got to see the dark side first. Before you could get to the light. I'm happy that you didn't get the easy path. Because I know what's going to happen with you guys is. You're going to have more opportunities than everybody. Because whether you guys believe it or not. All of this is a blessing in disguise. All of this. Every last ounce. Every at last ounce of sacrifice. Every last ounce of of betrayal, of the bait and switch. You know, you want to know the best? You want to know what I love the best, guys? This is what I love the best about the West. Is you're going to get bait and switched, whether you like it or not. This is what I love about the West. You see these little Kayleys right here. 
these little Kaylees are going to turn into Karens one day. Okay? What the hell's wrong with my camera? There we go. Those little Kaylees are going to turn into Karens one day. And the fact that you're avoiding that type of nonsense shows to me that you're on top of your game. That you have a stronger backbone, that you have a stronger spine, that you are full of testosterone and maybe you don't even know it. That you are resisting temptation. That you are religious. That you are standing up. You know, one thing I wish I had had more of when I was a kid was more religious upbringing in a way. Because it would have kept me more on the straight and narrow. Because there's a lot of resistance of temptation in the Bible and in religious scripture. Does that make sense? So I had to learn the hard way <laughs> to resist all these things. <laughs> that I had to learn the hard way that I got to bring the thunder and the pain and that I'm not going to go for some nasty blown out thought. You know, the worst thing that I ever did, guys, was not raise my standards. You know, the worst thing I ever did in my life, gentlemen, you really want to know where you, you're going to win is by not lowering your standards, by increasing raising your standards. So for example, Man's Daily Advice said he wants a girl from Thailand. I challenge you, Man's Daily Advice, to raise your standards. I challenge you to raise your standards. And what I mean by that is you're going to hold them to the highest standard. I challenge you, Jake Judy, who wants an Eastern European woman, I challenge you to raise your standards. I want you to push for higher standards. If she's lazy, if she's not, look, look at this chick, look at this chick, she's running her ass off. She has terrible form, but she's running her ass off. I challenge you guys to raise your standards. For the women in your life, for the country you go to, I challenge you. And the reason for this is because you can hold your head up high in esteem and tell all these other losers. Here's the best part of it all. Everybody else, gets to settle for the worst. The higher your standards go, and the more focused you are on bettering your life, my God, everybody else has to lower their standards. They have to go for less. They have to live in squat. See, because gentlemen, unfortunately, not every guy is going to be passport bro or an expat. It's not happening. In fact, the vast majority are not. This is never going to be mainstream. And the reason for it is because you get to win and they have to lose. You know those questions you always ask me, men's daily advice? You ask me, why do they always come after you? And why are the Christian bros and so upset and the simps? And, you know, <laughs> why is this such a big issue? It's because, gentlemen, if you win, they lose. If you guys leave the country, if you guys upgrade, if you guys have standards, if you have a backbone, if you have a spine, if you're putting up weight at the gym, if you're just getting in shape, if you're just being healthy, they lose. Because the competition kicks the crap out of them. You are their competition. They're competing with you because they see you as a winner. Ouch. That's how it goes. That's why most people get out of my freaking way, guys. And I'm not even bragging. I'm just being real. They get the hell out of my freaking way. Because they don't want the smoke. They don't want to compete. Now, they'll do it online because online it's much easier to do. You can shoot all the arrows you want at somebody. And they don't even have to see you. But in the real world, they're not going to try these things. Highly unlikely. Do you see what I'm getting at? Your standards carry you further than anything else on this planet. They take you to heights you have never seen before. They take you to places you've never been. Because it creates a clear vision. You can visualize your success. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just fine. Kaylee has very long hair. <laughs> Kaylee has incredibly long hair. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Dude, guys, she was like five foot tall and she was 90% hair. <laughs> Kay Kaylee. No, you know what? The, w the West wants you to lower your standards. Men's daily advice. 
The West wants you to lower your freaking standards, to give in. Ella, laughing my ass off. Circus music. Correct. Dating Coach Dan Circus. That's what they want. Jakey, Judy, nothing would make your church happier than you wifing up a single mom and living in misery. Nothing would make your church happier, men's daily advice, than you being with a 450-pound sumo wrestler, a linebacker. That's what they want for you. They want you to suffer. Now, why am I against this? Because, gentlemen, I learned long ago that the more winners I have around me, the more guys I have around me who are hungry, who are thirsty, who are pissed off, and who are full of fury and fire and hunger, the more I win. The more I have guys around me that refuse to settle, that refuse to betray their standards, I realized, holy cow, I am now part of them. They're part of my legion. You see how it all ties back together? You see how they can't stop us, gentlemen. It's too late. Most of them give up, but they can smell. Another reason why they come after you guys is they can smell you're still young. They can smell that they can still get under your skin. They can smell that they might get an opportunity to beat you. That's why they go after you, gentlemen. I'm not saying you're weak. Yeah, this guy's a nice bike. That's a pretty nice bike, after me. They're coming after you guys, Jake, Judy. They're coming after you, Men's Daily Advice. They're coming after all my Legionnaires because they could smell that they could still get under your skin. They can smell it. Oh, maybe if I, uh, maybe if I give them a nice big single mom with tattoos all over her face, maybe he'll go for it. Guys, you want to go? Let's go somewhere, dude. But it might get noisy. Now nah, let's just go this way. Whew. Thailand is an option. Brazil, Cambodia, Philippines, and Eastern Europe too. I'll live in Thailand, but I'm still traveling globally because the crime rate is low and the accommodations are terrific. Correct. Correct. The crime rate is low. Guys, go to Travel Safe Abroad. You can see the crime rates in these other countries are actually way lower than any of the U.S. cities. Guys, don't ever go to Chicago, Chirac. Do not do it. It is effing crazy scary. These big cities, they're getting worse. I mean, they're getting freaking dangerous, man. They're getting scary dangerous. I kind of want to go back, but I kind of don't. Maybe we should keep going. Uh, there's so many normies. Oh, let me check. Uh, all right. No, I don't feel like it. Let me keep moving. Now let's do it. Anyway. Now let's not. <laughs> oh, they can't wait to pull you guys back to the plantation. They cannot. Let me give men's daily advice a single mom. Let me give Jake Judy a single mom and a, you know, a bunch of tattoos, a violin, so he can pray, play. He can play his swan song. <laughs> they can't wait to pull you guys down. Stay at this dead-end job for the rest of your life. Guys, do you know that housing prices are still rising, even though people cannot afford them? You know what I mean? I mean, literally, it, it, it's so ridiculous. It, the West is done, man. Even if you're making six figures plus a year, you're barely scraping by in a big city. Even if you're making six figures plus a year, you can take it overseas. And be living a very, very, very cush life and have savings and invest and still have money left over. The West is done, guys. It's over. And thank the Lord it is in many ways because now you guys aren't stuck. Phew. Yeah, it's getting nutty. But the good news is, holy cow. 
Do you have options to upgrade? Holy cow, are you going to upgrade? Yep, no problem, dude. They, I don't get paid for, by them, but I, I'm going to give them a free mention because they, um, yeah, their stuff is pretty reliable. So, for example, if you look up uh, uh, specific Thai cities, you know, they're going to give you the full rundown of it, you know, uh, the safety approximately, approximately how safe these places are. It's within reason. So, for example, if you go to Japan, guys, I'm probably going to go to uh, the Asian countries later after I go to the Latin countries. But when I go to Japan, it's going to talk about, you know, levels of safety, which cities to go to, what you should look out for. There, no place is 100% safe, guys, no matter where you go in the world. But you can always be, rest assured that there are certain countries that are more safe than others. Like, for example, a lot of the Middle East, unfortunately is just way too dangerous for Westerners to go, right? It's just too dangerous. So you got you to mind your P's and Q's. A lot of the African countries, unfortunately, too, as well, very dangerous. There's certain cities you, you'll, be, you'll be more safe in, but um, you really got to do your research, guys. And as far as if you're a digital nomad, you got a whole, get a whole swath of places you can go. Jake Judy, sales is the way to make more money. Correct. Sales, if you guys aren't in sales or some sales related job, I highly suggest you start to get your sales skills up because you can use these for the rest of your life. Your sales skills are imperative to keeping you afloat. Sales skills are skills that you can use for the rest of your freaking life. There's certain skills you won't need forever, guys. Maybe you used to fix VHS recorders or, you know, outdated, antiquated skills, but sales skills, gentlemen, last a lifetime. It's just another way that we can upgrade. It's one of the best things I ever did for myself is get sales training, professional sales training, top level. And if you guys really want to work on your sales skills, you can set up a clarity call with me. I will take your freaking sales to unbelievable levels. I'll teach you B2B, which is business to business, or business to consumer, which ties in more with marketing, etc. But yeah, guys, you'll kill it. How to develop and cultivate relationships. How to build rapport. How to sell a service. How to sell a, a product. These are kind of different. <sighs> Yeah, guys, here, give in to the Kayleys. Guys, you want to give in to the Kayleys? Huh? You want to go approach them? Lower your self-esteem a lot? Is that what you want to do? You want to go approach the Kayleys and lower your self-esteem? <laughs> Those Kayleys are... <laughs> oh, man, I have too much... Guys, I have too much fun on these, on, on these streams. This should be outlawed. Oh, my Kaylee's. They try. My poor little Kaylee's. They try. They do their best. <laughs> Shout out to my little Kaylee's. I'm trying to be more feminine. <laughs> Gentlemen, the to my legionnaires, the funniest thing is the searches that the ladies have. And you know what? I'm going to address a lot of their... And some of it's going to be funny. Some of it's going to be sad. But <laughs> the, the things that... Uh, uh, <laughs> that AWs are trying to figure out is really sad. Because the traditional foreign women that you meet in your lifetime are going to be like, huh? <laughs> if you guys, if you meet an Eastern European, let's say you meet Zdenka, she's Eastern European. She's going to look at you like you're crazy. She already knows how to be feminine because she is feminine. She just, <laughs> oh, poor American girls. Oh, man. Man, they are in for a rude awakening. Oof. Yes, guys, even our alleyways are pretty nice in uh, Los Angeles. We have some pretty nice alleys. Guys, you do not want to, in New York, the alleys are, there's no alleys. It's just garbage on the sidewalk. 
That's why New York stinks so bad. New York City. They have no alleyways, so they just... They literally tell you, you're going to have to get used to roaches. The average... You guys, you know the average rent in um, Manhattan is up to over $6,000 a month. The average rent, $6,000 a month. Wow. For $6,000 a month, gentlemen, you can buy an entire an entire doubt the whole place <laughs> it's like, gee, oh my god i'm taking my hard-earned dollars gentlemen and i'm upgrading i'm getting taking my hard-earned dollars and i'm upgrading overseas you can get a nice place in bangkok or chiang mai for a thousand a month total living expenses and just be chilling probably i'm looking at chiang mai most likely it's northern thailand which is by the beach. Well, kind of, not really, but <laughs> never mind. What? Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Phuket. And what is the other one? Um, oh my God. Chiang Mai is northern Thailand. But it's uh, a little less crowded than Bangkok. And it's kind of like mountainous, and there's all this different terrain. And I'm curious. Oh, hey, Kaylee, how's it going? More Kaylee's. Kaylee is taking a break with her friend. I'll stick to 700 a month where I'm at. Nice, Jake Judy. Now that's pretty badass. But it is Cincinnati, isn't it? <laughs> no offense to Cincinnati, but Lord have mercy. I've heard horror stories about Cincinnati. Yikes. But hey, look, save your money. Stay safe. Save your money. <sighs> yeah, guys, LA is getting pretty expensive too. Oh, Kaylee's back. How's it going, Kaylee? Oh, you know, I'm just staying in shape. Trying to find a millionaire. Good job, Kaylee. I'm so proud of you. Dude, she is focused, man. Good for you, Jake Kaylee. Hell, I've thought about Chiang Mai and Bangkok. Yeah, Bangkok is not bad. Not at all. Chiang Mai is more... Uh, it's, it's in the north. It's going to be way up top um it's a little bit safer but hey guys pick your poison you know <laughs> there's trade-offs no matter where you go if you go to bangkok you can always take uh i think it's like an hour drive south to the beach or whatever you see what i'm saying so instead of a six in manhattan ass nation yeah pretty much yeah yeah, it's, it's ridiculously expensive, guys. L.A. is getting pretty expensive, too, as well. It's not as crazy as um, uh, New York, but it's getting up there. The average is two, 3000 a month. It's getting pretty crazy. So, so most people here have roommates in L.A. It's just how it is, unless you're making really good money. But the good news is it's time to just upgrade. And... Yeah, I, I don't think I told you guys exactly how I'm going to upgrade. What I'm going to do is, it's most likely I'm going to stay in uh, the city, the big city, when I go over to Colombia, so most likely Medellin or, or Cartagena. Probably start off with Cartagena because it's close to the beach. Start there. Stay in the big city. Um, three weeks to a month. You know what I mean? You got to get, get your rhythm down. And then after I'm done with that, then I'm going to go over to Medellin, Bogota, and then circle back to what's it called? Some of the other Latin, big Latin cities, possibly Costa Rica. And there we go. And I'll do some vlogs over there. And to some of you guys, you've never seen uh white latinas and again my spanish is getting better so i'm going to be able to converse with these women especially the traditional foreign ones out in the countryside and you guys could see some of these very very nice ladies then whichever is closer i'll probably go next to eastern europe and then after that asia go back to asia because i've been to asia guys i've, I've been there and it's fine but I got to get over to the Latin countries because I haven't been in a long time and practice my Spanish, get used to vlogging. I got to make sure that I can, my equipment is safe. Just practice. 
I think it'll be good in Latin, Latin countries. And of course, the living conditions, it's less expensive, way less expensive. Food is less expensive. Food is fresh. You get to see how the other side of the globe lives. And of course, I get to vlog overseas, which is going to be freaking crazy. And to the traditional foreign women, I'm going to go ahead and interview them. Hit the like button as you guys come in. Hit the like button. Hit the freaking like button. As the traditional foreign women reach more and more out to me and I meet up with them, I'm going to put them in my vlogs, gentlemen. That is correct. Or, at the very least, I'm going to interview them so you guys can see what's going on overseas. And your jaw is probably going to drop to, you, to the ground <laughs> when you see how amazing just the people are in general. And I might even interview a couple dudes over there, some expats, so you guys can see what's going on. Because there are expat communities in these areas. You see what I'm saying? So I can meet up with the local, with the expats that are over there, network with them, and then show you guys how the other how they live. And to me, guys, it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Once you get used to their culture and the way they do things, it's pretty. It's not complicated. Most of these people are very, very friendly. Guys, you don't experience as much Western hatred as you would think. There's not, a, there's not that much pushback. As long as you don't have a bad attitude, they're going to treat you well. So, but yeah, definitely, definitely his, uh, Latin America and then probably Eastern Europe. Asia, eh, I'll get back to it when I get back to it. But, you know, I'm really, really curious about the more European style way of things. And by the way, a lot of you guys may not know this, but a lot of parts of Latin America were colonized by Europeans. So you're going to notice there's a lot of European looking Latinos, tons. So, uh, Jake Judy, do you recommend taking a short trip just to see what it's like abroad one week? Uh, if that's what you can afford, Yes. If you can afford longer, optimally, about three weeks. Optimal, optimal. One week, it's cutting it a little close only because you don't get really accustomed to the lifestyle. You, you won't really, you're not going to really, uh, you're not going to have an opportunity to do as much as you think. Uh, because, for example, guys, let's say you go to Europe. What is that, 10-hour, uh, 12-hour flight, bare minimum? You're losing half a day right there already. Plus jet lag, that's going to cost you another day. Jet lag is a thing, guys, because you're disoriented. Another day just to find out where everything is, food, accommodations, people, locals. So already almost half of your trip is spent just figuring out where the hell everything is. So... If that's what you, if you can go a little longer than that, I'd say bare minimum, bare minimum, that, that's like minimum, minimum, it's probably a week and a little bit more. If you can go a couple more days than a week, it's worth the money, guys. Because now, now, you're like, oh crap, I need to leave where, <laughs> I can't stay where I live. So if you can afford it, go for it, or if you have the time, go for it. But if that's what you can afford one week, just do it. Don't even question it. Because what you guys are going to realize is that when you leave the West, things are much, much tamer. There's a dog running around. What is he up to? It's a husky right there. What is he up to? He's by himself, huh? Yeah. What is he up to? Should I go? Uh-oh. Maybe I should go help this poor doggy. <laughs> this poor dog. It's a husky, dude, so he's, he's, what's he up to? What's that dog up to? Oh, maybe those people will help him or something. I don't know. Anyway, men's daily advice. Pattaya is a fail-proof area for men. Yes, Pattaya, yes. The most socially awkward with low income in the States still have no problem at all in Pattaya, Thailand. The ratio is like 20 women to one guy. That, yeah. See, what a lot of you guys may not know, 
is social awkwardness comes from a lack of normally willing participation in social activities and mainly acceptance. Most social awkwardness is going to come from that. So for example, if you're kind of kind of dorky or nerdy, gentlemen, it's not really a detractor overseas, surprisingly. When you interact with women overseas, you are going to naturally be more masculine. I know this may be hard for a lot of you guys who are shy to understand, but feminine women will bring out the masculinity in you. Okay? Feminine women are going to make you feel, you're just, your testosterone is going to go up. I don't even know what, there's no other way to put it. When you guys actually leave the West, your testosterone goes up big time. You're going to feel it just in the air. And what does that mean? It means you're more aggressive, you're more adventurous, you're more full of just, you just want to go out and do stuff. It's pretty incredible. Like over here, in the West, guys, it feels a little bit more hostile. There's more conflict, right? Not when there's little Kayleys. Mm -hmm. Hi, we're on our e-bike. But you're going to notice when you leave the States, when you leave the West, there's a lot less pressure to be, you know, antisocial. <laughs> it's pretty much it. You're going to notice women are smiling. Here's what's going to really, a lot of you guys are going to be shocked by, is you're going to be smiled at by women. They're going to be very feminine to you. You're going to be like, what the hell is happening? You're going to get confused. Why did this person, what the hell? Free snacks? What the hell? Somebody left their bars out or something. That is strange. Yeah, you're going to notice Men's Daily Vice makes a very good point. But you are going to be treated much, 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 much differently. You are going to be treated... You know, your you just your testosterone goes up. Guys are more... There's more camaraderie with men... And the women are more feminine. It's just a fact. No matter, guys, your testosterone is going to go through the roof. What am I talking about? You're going to, you're going to be scratching your head, going, "Oh my god!" <laughs> when you see little Latinas dancing and just staring at you like you're a piece of carne asada, or Eastern European women that are so gentle, your testosterone is going to go up. It's going to go through the roof. And with that, you're going to have much more interaction. Chiefs won. Congrats. Testosterone is going to go up, gentlemen. Period. You're going to be shocked by how high it goes up. You're going to be shocked at how adventurous you're going to be. You're going to be shocked at the levels of respect you're going to get. I think this is very strange for a lot of men, and they're not used to this, is being treated with respect. That's why a lot of guys in the West are very weak. They take a lot of disrespect. You will not be... Guys, as soon as... When I was, <laughs> when I was in China, guys, I was treated with such reverence and respect. I kind of was like, oh, oh, okay. You know, you walk around with your head up high, It's absolutely incredible. It's freaking incredible, man. You start getting real adventurous. You start getting a spring in your pep in your step. Nobody can get in your way. And by the way, guys are uh, they're they're less they're less about conflict overseas. In fact, they're much more they're pretty chill, to be honest with you, gentlemen. They're really, really laid back. Oh yeah. So yeah, my plan, most likely the Latin countries first, then Eastern Europe. I'm looking at Bulgaria, Slovenia, and maybe one of the other Balkan territories. So, I am tempted, I'll be honest with you guys, I am tempted to go back to Ireland. It was the most beautiful countryside I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm very tempted to go back. But, at the same time, 
I want to see something new. Because God, uh, for, for Western, Northern Europe, whatever it is, it's actually a very conservative country. For those of you that like the little blondies. Very conservative. In fact, their divorce rate is rock bottom. I think it's like 2%, 1%. It get, it's, it's, it's the lowest in the European Union, that's for sure. So, but definitely Colombia. I got to get to Colombia because the divorce rate's low and the little Colombianas, they love me. To be honest, guys, Colombian women are arguably the most beautiful overall in the entire world. Okay? In the entire world. Look it up. <laughs> it's kind of, they're kind of ridiculous because they got light tan skin and ridiculous Oregon bodies. I'm talking ridiculous. What the hell is this? Is this like a brick wall or something? It's like a brick wall. Oh, it's a splash wall. Oh, okay. Check it out, guys. Check it out, guys. Should we go out on the rocks? It looks kind of dangerous. No, nah, I'm not going to go on the rocks. I'll be good. Plus, I don't have all my hands free. Let's see if uh, the stream keeps going. Ross want pork belly. You know what? I kind of want to go out back to sea. I want to get in the water. See, I want to get in the water. The water's looking pretty nice. If I get in the water, it'll be great. Because, because I can squeeze my rolls. I can squeeze my rolls under the boat, and then I can keep the boat afloat. <laughs> yes, to my Colombianas, and to all my traditional foreign women. Croatia? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. The fir uh, first, I, I gotta get to... Um, uh, Maybe Prague. We'll see. Estonia. I, I, I don't know yet. The good news is a lot of English is spoken in uh, Eastern Europe, guys, which is pretty cool. It's more of a second language, though. You do need to learn the primary language. That's my only, uh, that's the only drawback. Because my, I, I, I don't know any Eastern European languages. <laughs> but it's cool. Look, guys, you can get by in English pretty much anywhere, which is kind of, sh it's kind of shocking. But you literally can get, get, get by. You do. Most people are pretty accommodating, but it's best to learn a little of the local language. So, Mandarin. What is the most spoken language in the entire world? Spanish, English, Mandarin. All right. So those are your big three. And for me, I'm getting my Mandarin's getting better. Spanish is de it's okay. My French is pretty good. My English, obviously, very good. Cantonese, non-existent. Hebrew, I know some Hebrew. Wait, which way am I going here? Where, how can I go around? Uh, let's go all the way, guys. Let's see what happens. I've never been over here. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a boat slip. Wow, look at all the junky boats. Yeah, let's go anyway. What the hell? Whew. But yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be ultra fun. It is going to be so much fun. Because all the little happy foreign women are going to be over there. And by the way, guys, I will be researching new homes. I will be reporting to you guys quality of life as well as cost of life overseas we will be going over all that stuff but yes if you can only afford a week jake judy go get it go get it you're gonna have to do things a little quickly though all right you're gonna have to because see what happens is a lot of guys really don't realize how much they're gonna do when they get to these other countries you don't understand how much there usually is to do how many sites to see how many new people you're going to meet? You're going to meet a lot of people, gentlemen. Even if your native language isn't that good. Because people are very friendly. They're a lot more friendly and social than Americans because they're not on their phones all freaking day. Which is hard for people to believe. It's a much different existence. How's my, how's my stream doing over here?
Wow, it is beautiful. What is this, a boat slip? This is a dock? So I want you guys to be prepared. I want you guys to be ready. I want you guys to know that that's what it takes to be free. It's to sacrifice everything that everybody else doesn't want to sacrifice. Check it out, guys. It's like a little boat slip. It's like a dock. It's not that nice out today, though. Not very nice. It's kind of it's kind of gross. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. And, of course, everybody in the West is going to cry. Oh, I don't want to go over. Oh, you're, just, you're going on a vacation. No, you're on a journey. To all my legionnaires, you're on a journey right now. To all my legionnaires, you are on a journey of self-discovery. You are on a journey of liberation. You're going to be liberated from all the nonsense that is the West sooner than you think. Because you already have your foot out the door. You already have your pinky toe out the door. You're already leaving and you don't even know it. <sighs> and the sad part is, everybody wants to keep you right where you are. They want to keep you completely, what is it, um, numb. They want you to stay back here. Have you noticed how many little ladies are jumping online and saying, don't leave us? And then when you do say you're going to leave, they say, oh, go ahead. We didn't want you anyway. Oh, yeah, you did. Men can upgrade forever. <laughs> you guys, do you know that I'm still upgrading to this? Day? Guys, you understand I'm 44 years old. And I'm upgrading more now than I ever did before. I'm upgrading now more than I ever did before. And by the way, I'm not that much richer. I'm not that much more, what is it, uh, established. I started over a brand new business. There's so many things I'm working on, and yet I'm still upgrading. I'm dead serious, guys. I spent a lot of money on my last business. I'm spending a hell of a lot of money on this business. And yet I'm still upgrading to this day. Oh, little K leaves. Now, I could get with these little K leaves, one of them maybe, or take a shot. But guess what? What a waste of time. What a waste of freaking time, man. Because they are below my standards. Guys, these little K leaves right here, these little K leaves are below my standards. Now, some guys, it may be your standard. That may be exactly what you want out of life. It's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. Zero percent. Men's daily advice. In Colombia, they said it's nothing for men to pull an attorney, accountant, a police officer, a librarian, a real estate agent, whatever you want. There's no throwing their career in your face stuff. Correct. Last trip was from Cincy to Paris to London back to back in February. My advice, stay outside of the airport as it makes commuting easier and it's more affordable. Yeah, you, okay, so you went to Western Europe, which is cool. What the hell are you doing, fatty? You went to Western Europe, which is cool, but now it's time to venture. That, that's not a bad trip, actually. It's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that's more uh, Western Europe, which is a lot like <laughs> the West. The Paris people, the French are uh, pretty arrogant, unfortunately. Kind of arrogant, but London's not bad either. But again, it's more Westernized. So it's time for you, Jake Judy, to take off your training wheels and try somewhere else for sure. Yeah, guys, Colombian women are just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it is breathtaking. Absolutely. They have so much. Oh, my God. They are just, you want to talk about feminine. Guys, your testosterone levels will skyrocket if you're with the Colombian. She's so feminine, she just oozes it. What is femininity? Softness. She's accommodating. Gentle. She's fem. She's full of, uh, what is it? Uh, just, just uh, um, what is it? Calming, they're relaxing, very gentle. 
That's how they are. Unreal. Oh. <laughs> you can, guys, you could do a lot worse than a Colombian. Holy Lord have mercy. So for me, after I get done with Latin, these Latin countries, maybe Costa Rica, maybe, maybe. My sister keeps telling me to go to Coast, uh, Costa Rica. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Yeah, after I'm done with that, get in Eastern Europe, but all the while researching cost of living. We're going to see what type of real estate they've got over there. And that's that. And then it's time to make my escape, my exit. And then, of course, Japan, South Korea. And what's it called? Most likely uh, the Philippines. Get back to um, Southeast Asia, which would be cool. But once you're in Asia, guys, you can uh, get everywhere pretty quickly. A flight from like, um, let's say, Hong Kong to the Philippines is a couple hours, I think. Not that far. Most of the countries are very close in Southeast Asia. So it's good. And definitely my little Koreans. I love my little Korean girls. Love my Koreans. And then probably back to China. Back to China. Which I cannot wait either. Because China freaking rules. And I don't care if you guys think it's a PSYOPs. Because I'm just going to be rolling little linglings. But, um... Yeah, for the most part, your motivation is going to come from your sacrifice and giving up all this nonsense and constant berating in the West and being told that you're less than and being told that this, that, you know, you should accept all this <laughs> foddery. Let's put it that way. You should accept less than. I'm not accepting it. I refuse and I never will. That's where your self-esteem comes from. That's where your power comes from. Telling all these other people to F off. Telling all these people who told you you couldn't get better to F off. And nothing hurts them more than leaving. The AWs get furious when you guys leave. I've never been over here before. Oh, this is pretty cool. They got the boats back here. Oh, this is badass. I get it now. They put the boats back here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Those boats haven't moved in yet. <laughs> Ooh, my neck is sore. Oh, my stomach. I'm going to be eating soon. kind of hungry. Whew. So why... So, uh, so how... In Europe, uh, so why in Europe does Finland and Japan have... So much control over their poverty levels being so low uh, because uh, it's very looked down upon to be uh, to be poor. Well, number number one, they have high levels of pride in these countries. They refuse. Well, Finland has uh, problems with crime, if I'm not mistaken. But as far as poverty, no. The poverty rates in Japan are extraordinarily low because it's seen as very shameful. They have high levels of shame in Japan, gentlemen. And they work harder than other countries. In fact, J the Japanese overwork. A lot of them... You can read stories where people have literally dropped dead from work in Japan. They refuse to be seen as less than. And in fact, you're going to notice this in a lot of Asian countries. Shame levels are extraordinarily high. Right? Delete, self deletion rates are higher because the pressure is much higher. Do you see what I mean? Pride levels are extraordinarily high. You are going to put in the work. There is no option to be lazy. And also, when it comes to mental illness, they keep it off the street. Like in America, unfortunately, we really treat our mentally ill poorly by leaving them on the streets. Because, I don't know if you guys knew this, but before the 80s, people who had high levels of mental illness were kept in sanitariums, mental institutions. But then, unfortunately, Ronald Reagan passed an act to essentially release these people out onto the street. And ever since then, you've noticed that our homeless are people who have 
mental problems are just left out on the streets. They are pretty much discarded. It's kind of sad, but you'll notice they take a lot better care of their mentally ill in these countries. So, yeah. Look it up. It's crazy. Make like a tree and leave. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm not, guys, you think I'm staying? And by the way, I love America in many ways. There's many things I like about America. But unfortunately, there's too much that I need a break from. <laughs> so <laughs> I need a straight up break. And no country is perfect. By all means, no country is perfect. Every country has problem after problem after problem. But you got to pick your poison. For example, if you guys go to the Philippines, you're going to notice the infrastructure is much weaker. Okay? When a power line goes out, you could have a, no electricity for, you know, days. Stuff like that. There are certain things you're going to have to give up. If you go to Thailand, most of the people aren't going to be able to sp speak English, man. It's not happening. You're going to have to learn some Thai, whether you like it or not. You see what I'm saying? There's certain conveniences you're going to have to give up. Guys, there's plenty of conveniences in the West. Everything is just shipped to you, given to you, right? Fast food. Gentlemen, it's not like that overseas. When you're in China, when you're in Hong Kong, guys, you got to walk everywhere. I mean, you could take an Uber if you want, I guess. But in all reality, the vast majority of people walk. You see what I'm saying? The vast majority of people move. There is no instant fast food. Fast food, guys, in most of these other countries, you're going to notice fast food is almost non-existent. Fast food is somebody cooking something for you quickly. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> you see what I mean? In fact, this is going to blow your guys' mind. In many places, the fast food is actually more expensive than the local made stuff. It's like considered a treat. To go to Burger King. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're going to notice you're going to lose a lot of weight really quickly. <laughs> I had like two noodle bowls in, you know, three, four hour time span. Because guys, you're walking, you're walking everywhere. Everywhere. In a lot of, when I was in Europe, gentlemen, I walked everywhere. Literally. Because cars are so expensive, gas is way more expensive overseas. Holy cow. Guys, you think gas is expensive in the United States? It is crazy expensive. Why in Tanzania, Tanzania East Africa area, men from North America in general are looked at like famous celebrities? Because that's what they see in the news. We're idealized in the news. In the West, we're all seen as celebrities because everybody thinks we're from Hollywood or, you know, most of the movies you see. Most of the TV... Guys, they see TV shows and movies from the West because that's what dominates. Simple. They don't live here. They live over there. They see us as people on TV. That's how, that's how they understand who we are. And so when they meet us in person, they're confused because we're not celebrities, right? So, but it's a trip. It is an absolute trip. How much you guys will, your mindset shifts when you leave. Then when you start upgrading your lifestyle, when you start upgrading where you live, when you start upgrading your food, your food is going to get 50 to 60% better, cleaner, less preservatives, Less fillers, less junk in your system, less crap that you're eating. Processed meat, processed, oh, all that stuff, guys, just kills you slowly. It makes you tired. It makes you out of breath. Yeah, you know what? You know something? I'm going to add a little bonus content for my Legionnaires. Do you know that the first time I ever ate wild boar, it felt like I'd been injected with energy? I had this wild boar taco. I was like, what the hell is wild boar? That sounds like it's going to make me sick or something. I had wild boar tacos, and I could not believe how much energy I had. I was like, what the? Why do I have so much energy? It's because the crap that we eat in the West is pure garbage that destroys us.
I've never had gotten energy from meat in my entire life until I ate wild boar. And I was like, oh my God, what is this? I feel like a god. What the hell is in this stuff? <laughs> I didn't know what the hell is in Because normally when you eat meat in the West, you fall asleep. It's because most of the animals that we, you know, consume are tired, full of drugs. So, sad. Ooh, it's got a nice little horseshoe tea too. Or ah, what else? What else? Whoops, pressed the wrong button. Then I started eating wild game. And my recovery got better. My muscles started getting bigger. I started getting all this energy. So I started adding wild game like elk. Grass-fed beef at the very least. 100% grass-fed beef. I started adding these things to my diet. Venison. That's another word for deer. I wish, I wish, I wish I had been raised out hunting and doing all that stuff because we were sold a bill of goods guys all the lazy pork that you eat wild boar tastes like steak and pork mixed together wild boar tastes like steak and it's got like this nutty suck oh my and here's what's funny wild boar is everywhere in texas <laughs> it's everywhere in the midwest those, those are the most delicious. I started to learn how to hunt after I ate wild boar. I could not believe how delicious it was. I was like, that is just, I've never had a hunting bone in my body. I'm a city boy. Here I am learning how to use a rifle. I'm learning how to, what is it, a process. You know, I can't say it on YouTube, but, you know, dress the, the animal if you will, undress. <laughs> anyway, these are the upgrades I'm talking about, gentlemen, as opposed to going out with your lazy, shiftless, AW girlfriend out to a restaurant where you just get fatter and lazier, more tired, more depressed, and you start wondering, where did my life go? Where did my life go? Oh, well, it went down the crapper. <laughs> I gave up wild game you know what i'm got? guys you're gonna laugh tonight you know what i'm making i'm gonna make chili with 100 percent grass-fed beef and you know what i don't get tired on grass-fed beef in fact i started running in the sand the other day after i ate grass-fed beef 100 percent grass because the cow is treated humanely etc it walks around it moves Instead of being lazy. Unbelievable, huh? We've been sold a bill of goods, guys. The fat that comes off a wild boar is actually delicious. And it's, it sticks to your ribs. It's, it, it fills you up. It's weird. Anyway. Oh, yeah, guys. We've been sold a bill of goods. It's unbelievable. The West keeps lying to us, and yet we keep taking it. No, we are not. It's time to bounce. And these are some of the secrets to my success, gentlemen. Secrets. They're not even secrets. It's just reality. Instead of becoming consumers, you become a producer. You're either a consumer or a producer in general. We all consume, but you're either producing or you're cons you just become another consumer. Kind of like that one movie, Wall E, where everybody's just sitting around. Anyway. <laughs> That's what it's all about, gentlemen. Look at how much energy I have today. I have so much freaking energy. <laughs> Eating that wild game. The wild game gives me crazy energy. Yeah, you're walking around everywhere overseas. It's much easier to get around. You get in a lot of steps. 
You eat fresh food every day. It's unbelievable. And here's the crazy part. The food is less expensive. The freaking food is less expensive and it's higher quality. It makes no sense. I'll never forget. I'm, <laughs> I'm literally going around Macau. You know, I'm going around Macau and they're feeding me these, this like frog legs and all this other stuff. And I was like, damn, this is actually pretty damn good. And it's fresh. And cuttlefish and all these weird, I was like, damn, this is really fresh. This is really good. I couldn't believe it. And they always had these little egg tarts, these fresh egg tarts. Man, those things were so, guys, I used to pop them like nothing. And I just keep moving. I lost a ton of weight. I was in, uh, I was over there for three weeks and I lost a ton of weight. I was eating pork. I was eating oxtail soup. Because guys, the stuff that they eat over there is wild. It moves. It's got nutrients in it. It fills you up. You don't have to eat 10 billion burgers. Yet over here. <sighs> anyway. And it goes all to back together. I know we talk a lot about the women, but it all ties back to, don't you guys see how much it all ties together? How you upgrading one area of your life upgrades other areas of your life. It all ties back together. Upgrading your food, your fitness, all of it, your country, your women, the guys you hang around, your guys, it all, it all comes together. It all comes back together. I remember movie, Wally movie back in the day. Yeah, everybody's sitting around, dumber than ever and fatter. And guys, I used to be that guy just sitting around, depressed. I swear to God, I was hunched over like this. Oh, bro. Same old crap, dude. Different day. Oh, bro. Bro, 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 bro I'm so tired. I used to wake up in the morning and I would be tired when I woke up. I would wake up in the morning and be tired most of the day. Just, oh, uh, oh. Uh, and I would just order pizza. I'll never forget. I would, I would get two medium pizzas. This is how I did it. I'm not making this up, guys. I would get two medium pizzas. But the reason I got two mediums and not an extra large is because I could make half and half toppings. So I'd do half on the medium because they wouldn't let me do it on large pizza. So what I would do is half toppings on this side, meat, half vegetables on this pizza. And then on the other pizza, it would be like barbecue chicken on one side. And then on the other side, it would be, um, I don't know, shrimp or something weird. And then I would take, I'm not making this up, guys. I would take one slice of pizza, put it. Uh, face up and then I would put barbecue sauce and then take the other slice of pizza and put it together like a sandwich yeah oh yeah guys I was fat and just dead oh oh bro same old crap bro different day bro, 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 bro. and then I would have you guys aren't even going to believe this I would have a calzone a large calzone with that it, it was crazy how much I would eat then I would have a two liter, had to have the two liter Coke, right? Two liter of Coke. And then I would have chicken wings on top of that with extra ranch dressing, which sometimes I put on top of the pizza. It was disgusting. Do you think I had a hot chick back then? Do you think I was in shape back then? Do you think I was going traditional form back? I was just waiting until the time ran out. I was waiting for the clock to run out, guys. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I'm tired all the time, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, Always squeezing. And I didn't even realize, gentlemen, you can upgrade for the rest of your life. That your motivation is your obsession every day. That every day, your obsession about winning, your obsession about Staying away from losers. Your obsession about hanging with winners. Your obsession about consuming content that keeps you alive, and that keeps you fired up, is the most important thing. Dr ditching the lazy, fat girlfriends. The loud, shiftless AWs. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's going to give you so much energy. You're going to be alive, gentlemen.
and nobody's going to be able to stop you. Not one person on this planet is going to be able to stop you. That's what they're, you know what they're really afraid of? The simps, the AWs, society. They're terrified that you're going to follow through. This is the scary, that you aren't going to need them anymore, that you are going to say, no, I don't think so. I've, I've earned better. This terrifies people, gentlemen, because that means you're unstoppable. That means they can't stop you. That means you got them by the, the balls. That means you're on the path. I'm going to chop up some pepper. I've got some Anaheim peppers. I've got some. I've got some, got about three pounds of delicious beans. All that stuff. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pressure cook the crap out of it. Maybe about 20 minutes. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to throw some corn in there too as well. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Nobody wants you to do that, guys. They want you to go and be a lemming. They want you to go back to the plantation. Gentlemen, they want you to walk around with your 300 plus pound. Your three. Because you're easier to control that way. Ouch. You're easier to take advantage of. You're easier to manipulate. But you guys are on the path to success. You are going to be free. You are going to go straight to the top. But you're not going to look back. You're not going to give in. That's what it's all about, gentlemen. There is no such thing as stop fighting. You are a fighter. Or you wouldn't be here. You'd be already in that early grave giving up. And that's why this content is so important. Uh-oh. Stream is lagging. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Stream is coming back. Donkey punch the like button on the way out, gentlemen. Finger the subscribe button. Comment. Turn to the Matrix and end, end of their trip. Correct. That's correct men's daily advice. You don't have to return. We got the world by the you-know-whats. Donkey punch the like button on the way out. Hit the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Become a Legionnaire member. Don't ever forget, gentlemen. We're here to win. Until next time. I'm definitely watching you. That was very cheesy, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm definitely watching. <laughs> so let's.